Uh, right behind me is uh, the uh, Hangang uh, Daegyo, the uh, Han River Bridge. And uh, as you can see, uh, it has a somewhat, uh, a somewhat unique design. Uh, the, the sort of uh, quasi-circular, sort of cuticle-shaped uh, spans that are actually quite similar to the original bridge. Now, the original bridge was, uh, was built before the Korean War and uh, almost uh, 67 years ago to the day, I'm recording this on uh, June the 30th, on June the 28th in 1950, uh, the, uh, the Korean War had, uh, had broken out a few days before. North Korean troops were advancing quite quickly to Seoul and uh, the government uh, had evacuated. The government of Isingman had taken a train secretly out of the, uh, the city and uh, the, uh, the South Korean troops defending the city uh, decided to give the city up and uh, pull back. Now they planted a lot of TNT under the, the bridge and uh, they uh, proceeded to de detonate it but they did not tell the, uh, the refugees who were crossing the bridge. Some refugees, some Seoulites decided to stay uh, and wait for the North Korean army and, and others uh, decided to flee. The ones fleeing who were on the bridge were, uh, uh, were killed. Uh, there was no forewarning. The bridge was simply detonated. And then after the war, a, uh, a colonel, uh, or actually I, I guess during the war, a colonel named uh, Che Chang Shik was, uh, was executed. Although after the war there was a tribunal, his, his wife uh, appealed the, uh, the conviction and uh, execution. And uh, it was, uh, it was uh, found that, in fact, uh, Colonel Che's orders had come from above. Now, th this, this whole uh, incident is a real, um, is a real uh, mark of shame for Koreans who uh, feel embarrassed about it. it. It's sort of a sign of, of, how, uh, uh, of how dishonest the Isigman government was at that time. It's a sign of how uh, arrogant uh, 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 people higher up uh, in the social order were toward those at the lower echelons of the social order, etc. But there's another aspect of the, uh, the demolition uh, which uh, doesn't tend to get as much uh, attention and that is the, uh, that's the context of the Korean War itself and its geopolitical aspect which I'll talk about a bit later because that's also a fascinating story and it has to do with the way that uh, South Korea in many ways was um, uh, was uh, not uh, not treated quite the way it should have been by uh, by its U.S. ally in terms of uh, preparing for uh, the outbreak of the war, which actually was uh, foreseen. The actual date of the war was not foreseen, as far as we know, but uh, but the likelihood of the outbreak of war was very much foreseen uh, by the United States and of course by uh, the Soviet Union which was supplying North Korea with its arms and, and knew full well about the, uh, the war that was going to break out. The Americans had very good intelligence uh, before the war and uh, the real question is uh, uh, did they know exactly when the war was going to break, break out and why did they publicly state that they would not defend South Korea which is what happened in January of 1950 around six months before the war as Dean Acheson, Secretary of State, uh, basically, uh, as far as people can tell, gave a kind of green light to, uh, to the North's invasion of the South.